Well, Jesus Christ Superstar is coming to Springfield. It's a rock opera with music written by the one and only Andrew Lloyd Webber. And one of the ensemble is here with me today. Hi, Catrice. Hello. Wonderful to have you on our show today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So tell me a little bit about yourself and your role in the musical. So I am a soul singer and ensemble track. So I come on as like regular ensemble, but I also have like a small little um, trio that I'm in and we're called the soul singers. And we basically like just hold down vocals for like some of the songs where the ensemble is like really dancing. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much me in the show. <laughs> now you're from Springfield, Missouri. I am. <laughs> Tell me how you kind of got into this. Yeah, I, I actually moved from Springfield um, when I was like a junior in high school, but I started my theater career there, actually. <laughs> the first thing I auditioned for was in at Kickapoo High School. It was a Tarzan the Musical. <laughs> and I got cast in the ensemble, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I like this. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so then I went to school for it, and then I got this audition, and I landed this job <laughs> out of college. And the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're coming back to Springfield for Jesus Christ Superstar. Yes, it's like full circle. <laughs> it is full circle. I love it. So tell me a little bit about this opera. Um, yeah, it's basically like, it's the story of the days leading up to Jesus Christ's crucifixion, but told through Judas's eyes and with as a rock opera. So there's no spoken words. Everything is sung through. And we kind of like, it's off of the Brown album that Andrew Lloyd Webber did for the show. So we kind of base it off of that album. We want it to feel like you put the record on and it just keeps spinning and never stops. And it is. <laughs> How have they changed this opera from the original? Oh, I mean, I know we have, um, could we start again, please, in our show, which I don't believe was in the original. Um, and I think, honestly, just leaning more into the rock of it so much. Um, but I don't really know, honestly. <laughs> yeah, would you say a lot of rock music? Yeah, it's we really lean into like the concert style of it. Like we have like mics, like stands, and like it really, we really want it to feel like a concert, but also still telling the story. That's really cool. Yeah. What do you hope audiences take away after seeing this performance? Um, I hope they take away, honestly, like community. I feel like when we're up there, we have a, a really good sense of community, and um, some of the some of the choreo and some of the show is just like really hard for some of us to get there. It's like, as, as that's like one of the raves about the show is the choreography. It's like very very difficult to see people do it. It's very like awesome to watch. So I think we always like gather together, like we got this. And you can like, we audibly like are saying like, yeah, like, you know, and it's just like a, a, a freeing experience of just seeing everyone come together and do something together and just have fun with it. Well, I'm excited, Catrice. I can't wait for you guys to come to Springfield and see this opera and what Andrew Lloyd Webber has done with the music. Awesome, thank you. I can't wait to be back. <laughs> thank you, we're excited to have you. And if you would like to go see Jesus Christ Superstar, they are coming to Springfield November 6th through the 8th. Get tickets at HammondsHall.com. Catrice, thank you so much. Thank you.